Hey everybody, welcome back. I have this little tiny, tiny cottage for you guys today. Um, I never do small builds, you guys know that, but um, I figured, you know what, I have a busy weekend ahead of me. It's my mother-in-law's birthday, so I'm not going to be able to really work on The Sims too much um, this weekend, maybe Sunday, but today and tomorrow are going to be busy days. So, um... I just thought I would get something out to you guys before all that craziness starts. So, um, yeah, I just did this little cottage. I really wanted to do blue for some reason. I was feeling it, so I tried to go with all blue colors on the exterior and on the interior. And I really love this little hill that I built up. Um, I used the rocks from Cats and Dogs, which I've mentioned this before, but for anybody that's viewing um, this video or this channel for the first time. Just keep in mind if you are going to do some sort of terrain build up, um, the rocks from, that come with the base game will work um, to sink into the terrain and the ones from the cats and dogs pack will sink into the terrain. I haven't noticed another pack that comes with the debug rocks that will work but um, the rest of them just float on the top of the surface. They don't sink in to the terrain so you really can't use them for that sort of thing um, I mean you can use them here and there but it just doesn't work so anyways I really tried to my goal when I started this was to keep it actually like more realistic and make it like this cute little cabin in the woods but then I decided to put blue trees everywhere and went with all these blue flowers and yeah there's blue flowers but um, I think it was a little more fairy tale than what my original goal was but I just can't help myself I don't know what comes over me when I start landscaping I just take it in a different direction sometimes than I originally plan on going but I'm really happy with how it turned out anyways um, I kept the blue theme going on the inside the interior is just one big room basically except for the bathroom um, and I think it's really cute it's definitely good for one sim I don't think you could put two sims in there uh, I don't think it would work uh, just not enough room and it's a single bed that I put in there but I guess if you wanted to expand it you could change it so I thought it was really cute all in all um, like I said it was really fast built so yeah um, I don't have too much else to talk about today I'll just let you guys watch the video um, if you're looking for a shell challenge to do I did extend my shell challenge from the 20th to the 29th so you do have until the 29th to complete that if you guys would like to join, I've seen a lot of really beautiful builds so far for my shell challenge. I'm going to have a really hard time choosing. I know I'm going to end up wanting to feature them all um, when I do a walkthrough video. And I'm going to feature them all on my Instagram regardless. Um, but I've been like really inspired and impressed by what I've seen. So if you want to check that out, my gallery ID and my Instagram ID is in the description box below. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments of this video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day. Bye.